The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the EVGA Supernova 1000 G2 1000 watt gold power supply. This is a fantastic looking box that is wrapped in plastic. It has lots of features and specifications as well as some pictures here of the product on it. As well, at the top is a handle and a security seal. Now let me go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. Included is a pouch that you can use to carry the cables in. Here's the power cord, all of the modular leads, and there are lots and lots of these. You've got these Velcro tie-downs, and there's five of these Velcro tie-downs, and they work perfectly. You just wrap them around the cable, tie it tight, and it will keep everything organized. Four black screws, and the power supply, which is packaged very well. Here's the user's manual. And the power supply is actually in this bag and there's a little piece of plastic here at the top to protect the logo. Now let's have a closer look at the power supply. The Supernova line of power supplies are currently available in wattages ranging from 650 all the way up to 1500, but I'll be reviewing the 1000 watt G2 model today. Now let's get into how this 1000 watts of power is determined, and to understand that you really got to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use, and there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. Now in this particular case, the maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 120 watts and the 12 volt is 999.6 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. It's also important to know the peak amps on each rail and the 3.3 volt as well as the 5 volt rails are both 24 amps each. And this power supply has a very strong single plus 12 volt rail, which is 83.3 amps. And this is fantastic if you're thinking about adding two, three, or more video cards to the computer system. Now there are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply and the first is wattage. You need to determine how much wattage you're going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Now generally speaking a medium to high-end gaming grade would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. For a hardcore system select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If however you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top-of-the-line multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficiency at typical load and that's not a problem for this power supply because its efficiency is 90% at typical load. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage and other protections and this power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC. APFC or active power factor correction assist the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, it corrects input voltage, and allows for full input voltage range. And thankfully this power supply has APFC. There are three main certifications, 80 plus, NVIDIA SLI, and AMD Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. Now this power supply meets the 80 plus gold certification and the NVIDIA SLI certification is pending. Six, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors and this power supply does come with high quality Japanese capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Now this one here has a modular design and this is fantastic and what I would actually recommend if you're picking one up because it reduces the cable mess inside of the case. Also, it's important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty and this power supply comes with an incredible 
10 year warranty. Now this power supply comes with a textured tough black paint finish and it will not scratch very easily as well the housing is steel they include a quiet 14 centimeter dual ball bearing fan and there's lots of ventilation so this power supply should remain cool just about anywhere here's the power cable connection and the power switch now this power supply is 100% modular, which is super convenient because you only need to use the cables required for your particular setup. And this reduces the cable mass inside the case so it looks much, much better. It also increases airflow inside of the case. Lots of modular leads, the 24 pin, a couple of CPU leads, the serial ATA or SATA leads, as well as the four pin leads and the VGA leads. Now I just wanted to show you one of these leads so you can see what a fantastic job they've done. In this particular case, it's the VGA lead, which is red throughout the sleeving, the shrink wrap, and even the connector. Same applies to the black leads. They are all black. Finally, have a listen to the 140 millimeter fan, keeping in mind that, of course, the fan speed will increase as the load and temperature increases on the power supply. If you're in the market for a high wattage 100% modular power supply that has impressive specs, a tough paint finish and a quiet 140 millimeter fan, as well as a 10 year warranty, well, this is it. This power supply is extremely impressive. And I have to say, offering a product with a 10 year warranty, especially a power supply, is unbelievable. I don't believe any other company currently out there actually offers that. Without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review, and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.